It's Pat Gillis here and welcome to 28 in 28. These are my friends uh, Tommy and Zephyr behind me waiting to come in for supper. Uh, you know a lot of times people will come to the farm and they'll ask me you know can horses tell if you're afraid or can horses tell if you like them or whatever and I would argue that horses can pretty much tell everything about us. I think there's no way that we can actually hide from horses which is part of what makes it so amazing to be around them. You know like I've found in my lifetime that you know I'll, I'll see I'll have a student riding a horse and their form is quite good, their position is quite good their skill set seems to be good and yet that horse will go completely differently for them. <laughs> thank you it will go completely differently for them than it will for another person and that all it can be is kind of a difference in the energy that the person has and it's amazing that the horses pick up on that and I might happen to know something about the the person riding that maybe they're having a bad day or whatever but the horse will pick up on it it happens to me too like sometimes you know you're about to do something with a horse and you look at your watch and you go boy I'm really pressed for time but I think I can get this done in that amount of time so and I'll even say to myself okay I'm going to calm down I'm going to just take a deep breath I'm going to go in that arena and do whatever it is I need to do and I'm not going to think about the time at all and I think I've got it covered and as soon as I get in there the horse is like what's the matter why are we in a rush <laughs> and, it's like, and I think to myself this is the most amazing thing like I, I can't even fake it with these guys you know I think I remember years ago there was this young girl at a Christmas party that we had once and she was I knew she was going through a really difficult time and uh, every time people came up to her she would have this really great smile on her face and she'd say hey how's it going and this and that but any time that there was nobody talking to her and she was just sitting there by herself she looked so sad and I remember thinking that poor kid, you know, like even though she was able to fake it in the moments where there was silence and, she, and no one was talking to her, she looked so very sad. And I thought to myself, I'll bet you, <laughs> hello, <laughs> I'll bet you that if she were um, with horses, they would have known she was that sad because even though she was able to fake it for all of us, deep down the horses would have gotten it and that's what I find so interesting about horses they they get us on a deep level <laughs> hello <laughs> they get us on such a deep level and they, they keep us honest that's what I love about horses anyway thank you so much we'll talk to you soon remember to thank your horse